Hey everyone, it's your captain speaking, and welcome to This Bed We Made. Uh, we're in a hotel, and we're searching through people's dirty laundry. Not literally, I don't think. Maybe. Sophie's colleagues, Beth and Andrew. Beth is a worldly woman who brings a keen sense of street smarts to her job at the Clarington. It's not... that's the hotel. It's no surprise that her beauty and boldness attract the eyes of people of all genders. A gaze she's willing to return only for the right person. Andrew, on the other hand, is insightful, well-read, and down-to-earth. Andrew is a worthwhile friend to the few who, had, who managed to catch his interest. He might spend most of his time buried in a book, but for the right person, he's more than willing to share the fruits of his knowledge. Continue. Oh. Oh my god. Is this, uh, Beth? So we are cleaning rooms? Is it, we actually cleaning rooms? Is it a job simulator? I'm sure I'll find more laundry to add to the pile. Okay, so there's nothing in it. Can we push... Can we push? We can't push. What's this? Does carrying this everywhere really make us better maids? First rule. Be it seems to think so. Who? First rule, be invisible. Guests do not want to be disturbed. Accomplish your work as, si as silently and discreetly as possible. Be a shadow. Well, shadows are invisible, are they? Partial cleaning. Uh, bathroom. Uh, shouldn't that be the one you definitely clean? Like, very well. Clean mirror, toilet, and bath. Bring used towels to cart. Put clean towels on shelf, replace toilet paper roll if necessary, empty garbage can, and throw away the trash. Third roll, be careful, and complete the cleaning. Chambermaid? Oh, 1956. Okay, that makes sense. Sophie, you've already done this room. Well, how You're the hell? cleaning it twice, are you? Well, how the hell was I supposed to know? It's not like it's a, that you put a sign up saying clean. Although that would be pretty useful. Mr. Spade. Oh, they actually know them by name? I mean, on, cru Spade? on cruise ships they do. They, they really take a point to learn your name. But I don't know about hotels. What are those? This is none of my business. I'm just here to clean. Um... Oh, I see. It's a red room. I don't know why the music's so... I mean, maybe the pictures... Yeah, okay, the pictures are... Uh... Okay. That's why the music's all creepy and weird. Throw away. Get rid of the evidence of me. This would actually be great for you in court, the fact that he's taken many pictures of you. So yeah, let's just throw that away. There's no proof. It looks like you put on perfume for some reason. I mean, I know why he put on perfume, but... Why would he take the picture, or how he took the picture? That's the question. Um, a lot about perfume. Was he hiding in the closet? So she took the perfume out of somebody's suitcase and, uh, tried it on? What, are you trying to blackmail me? He does know I'm just a cleaning lady, right? I don't have mountains of money just sitting around. Uh, oh, wait, okay. So I, I redact, or retract, rather, what I said earlier that these would be used in evidence against him. These could very well be used in evidence against me. So we're gonna let's go and get rid of these. We don't uh, we don't need these. And it's like it never happened. Hmm. Clean the mirror. Clean it. Clean. Oh. 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 Why the hell is this mirror so dirty? Do I not clean this every day? There we go, that's better. Still can't see myself, but still insanely foggy, but uh it's clean. I should bring that back to my cart. Okay. Looks like prescription drugs. But what are they for exactly? I think legally they have to maybe maybe not back in the fifties, but legally they have to have like ingredients, don't they? Dirty. Pick up. Take it back to the cart. Where am I shoving these? In my apron? What's that? 
What's this? What are these? Instam, fine grain developer. So this guy just set up like a makeshift photo making center, red room, in the bathroom? Where do you even get the red light? 911, what's your emergency? I wouldn't even say anything. He got evidence of me using or using someone else's stuff. Reception desk, Beth speaking. What can I do for you on this very fine day? Beth, I need your help. I need Andrew's help. Oh god, I don't know. Uh Andrew's the more nice one, right? Ah, oh, fuck, I don't just Beth, just oh. I need your help. Sophie? What's going on? I, I think Mr. Spade's stalking me while I work. You did? I mean, I knew there was something fishy about him. He just has creep written all over his face, you know? How did you find out? I found a dark room. He caught me snooping. He took pictures of me. I... I found them hanging over the bathtub. He Maybe I shouldn't have thrown them away. Dark room. Pictures of you? Doing what? Um... I can't believe I'm about to say this, but... Sometimes, when I clean the rooms, I get a little curious. This is I, bad. Um, this is your boss you're talking to. Snoop through our guest stuff. Sneaky. And Mr. Spade caught you in the act, I suppose? Yes. I think... I think we should call the police. No, that's a terrible idea. But... Sophie, that man has pictures of you running your hands through people's stuff. Not anymore. I I burned them. I was just snooping, I swear. I know, I know, but say a client reports something missing. Those pictures would put a big red target on your back. What if Mr. Spade is dangerous? I threw the pictures out, so I do nothing? Oh, let's tell the truth. Well, I threw them out. Yeah, not your worst idea, but you found the pictures drying over the bath, right? Yeah. I'm no photographer, but... I've been in one of those dark rooms before. You have? Yeah. I modeled for a while. Anyway, what I'm getting at is, those pictures were developed recently, but it doesn't mean there aren't more elsewhere. I guess I could look. I guess I could keep looking. You want me to snoop? Well, you're pretty good at it. There is a safe here. I thought that, that's not relevant whatsoever. We want to steal his money. And maybe the pictures are in the safe. Uh, let's just keep looking. Hmm. I guess I barely looked through his belongings. And he's got pictures of you checking other people's stuff. Why stop now? Beth. Oh, loosen up a little. No one's dead. Yet. Any idea where I should start then? Well, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I remember Mr. Spade asking for the combination to his room safe. I bet you any. Maybe, but I don't have the code. Give me a minute. Does she have the code? Is it the hotel safe? Man. Probably. Those idiots. What? They can't find the combination list. The night staff's probably lost it again. Anyway, we always ask that clients write down their code somewhere so they don't have to call reception a dozen times. Have a look around the room, and I call you if Mr. Creep comes back. You know, so you can get out of there in time. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, and Beth? Mm -hmm. Please keep this between us. Of course. There's an abrupt hang-up. I, I feel like she's going to tell the whole entire world. Oh, here we are, and what was his name again? Creep? Inspect. We can just throw away everything? French to English. Are we in France? Because she said married, but she doesn't sound French whatsoever. Let's just close this. Note! Probably not the one with the I'd forget code on it. Head if I didn't write everything down. Why is I guess so... we have that in common. Why is it so blurry? Do not forget to buy more film. When did it start snowing?
I didn't really want to look at this, but okay, I was just trying to find a, a safe code to get rid of pictures, but alright, let's snoop further into whatever the hell this is. His spider graph here. Tickets. Tramways, 1958, okay. I don't know. I've never really been able to figure these out. I don't know what's this happening. This the sale where I found that winter jacket that Mom loves. Were you there too? Is he stalking me? I just visited the oratory for the first time in years. This has to be a coincidence, right? After finding the pictures they took of you, I don't think it's a coincidence. Oh, this is the lake that I live at. There's my house. Gotta be a coincidence. Ah, there's where I almost drowned. This is Are the- Are there at the same time? Yeah, there's the two burgers I bought. Where'd he find this? Is this... a floor of the Clarington? Yep. Room service night, mostly. Why'd you cross out 6 p.m. and then put 6 p.m. again? Oh, it was 5. Okay. Scam. Scam meat. Ham spread. Oh, I don't like that you called it spread. It's, spam isn't spread. Meat spread just sounds disgusting. The storm must be getting worse. I hope Mom's not too uh, requesting. What about Mom? Five oh seven. Why did you want to change rooms? To be closer to you. Aw. Lindsay's address. Oh, am I? Is my name Lindsay? Who am I again? Oh, I can zoom in. I didn't know that. Yeah. No surprise. Bernard denied the request. Mrs. Beaumont's been here so long. We could probably just put her name on the door at this point. So this is not so much a hotel as it is. It is almost an apartment, pretty much. Ah, oh, he smokes. Back when you could smoke in, uh, hotels. Or anywhere, really. Filter cigarettes. Uh, cocaine. This is definitely a cocaine mirror, right? I like the effects that it has, uh, mirror within mirrors. That's really cool. You're pawning off your possessions? What do you need the money for? Food, clothing, pretty much anything else in this world, honestly. Okay, that other stuff wasn't important, okay. Oh, okay, nothing in there. Uh, okay. Uh, she said she'd call. And this is, ah, I see. Ooh, a little loose there. A little dangerous. Okay. Well, at least we have a weapon just in case he does come back. I doubt he put the put the note this close to the uh, safe. Maybe. That's rough. How are you supposed to support yourself when no one will give you a job or a place to live? How the hell is he staying here then? You know I have a lot of respect for what you and others have done for this country, but I am not a charity. If I don't receive the past three months' rent before the end of the week, you'll have to vacate the apartment. Okay, so it is an apartment. I thought it was a hotel. That's a lot of film. How many pictures have you taken, Mr. Spade? Um, depends on if it's a hobby or a job. Oh, that's a lot of numbers. Forget it. That's I think I figured I could uh <laughs> maybe wing it and figure it out, but that's a hundred times a hundred times a hundred is like fifty Vision. bajillion. Here. What did she say? Here it is, right on his nightstand. Do not forget to take your pills. Always good advice. Okay, getting his Bible. Pretty common stuff. Binoculars. Okay, a little bit of a creep. Maybe he's just a bird watcher. Maybe. Probably not. Did I just, oh, I, I'm still trying to clean the room? Okay, gotta keep up appearances, I guess. Ooh, a key. What do we have here? Is that a dog or a person trying to pretend to be a dog? Oh, we're not gonna take the key? Wait. Come in handy. Ooh, pick up. Okay. Clean. Sure, why not? What's this? Pen. Okay. Did you intend for me to discover your little dark room? Or did this just fall down? Please clean this room. Do not disturb. Key to the room, I guess. Hey, did he? Should he not bring this with him? All done. Not yet. How much more do I have to clean? Okay, we're good. I guess we'll make the bed. Make it. Oh, this is fun. It's like a little mini game. Oh, 
I mean, obviously, there's a lot of mini games. And place pillow. Key? That's very fancy. They actually have a key for your suitcase. Usually it's a combination code. Okay. You spent ten years in a psychiatric hospital. Why the hell would you just have that paper on the top of your suitcase? A long list of diagnoses and prescriptions. Okay, well that explains the mill tone. There you are fifteen years ago. Okay, so we know he has a mole on the top of his eyebrow there. That'll come in handy to, to figure out who he is. I, I imagine she knows what he looks like already because he's been in this apartment for a while, but we, we don't. Oh. Spicy. One room, two women, and so many secrets. What first started as a normal friendship between two women soon blossomed into something much more passionate and disturbing. This is a tale of love and desire like you have never read before. Morgan. Is that your real name? Why did you check in under Mr. Spade? Perhaps something to do with the shovel? Maybe he buried people? Dear Mr. Morgan, you... You have to stop writing the, to this address. Lindsay died two years ago. I do not know what happened between the two of you, but please let us grieve in peace. Thank you, Lindsay's mother. So I'm not Lindsay. Paul Morgan from Lindsay returns. Return to Cinder. Well, that's sad. Turn objects. Enter selection mode. Oh, okay. For Summer Street. Lindsay's address. You know, if he wants a date, he's really going about it the wrong way. I mean, just take a girl to dinner. Why do you feel like you need to stalk her for a couple years first? I just don't think women like stalkers. Have I looked in all the drawers? Okay, let's do a thorough look through the entire... Can I crouch? No. Oh, this seems safe. It's no wonder that buildings used to catch on fire a lot back in the day. People were idiots. Well, they're idiots now, but they just have safer practices for heating. People can't lay their socks on the heater anymore. Right, that's not gonna... I'm not even sure why I kept that on the entire time. It was just white noise. I didn't even notice it. More books. Birds of... Oh, okay. He might actually be a bird watcher. Okay, just because he watches birds does not mean he doesn't watch women as well. Obviously he watches women. Yep, there he is. Distinctive mole. Okay. 99th Infantry... Belgium, November 1944. Throw away the trash. Place towel. Where's the trash? Place towel. Place towel. How many towels did I pick up? I did not pick up that many towels. Beans. Wow. He really cleaned the hell out of that thing. Why Harry's? Lots of burger places closer to the hotel. Okay, so yeah, he's definitely stalking me. He had to have known that I was going to come in here and look at this stuff. He wouldn't just keep this up on the wall. So what what purpose would he have for me to figure out that he's spying on me? Like, that's like... Illegal. I think. What am I missing? I keep thinking there's going to be something in the fireplace. Place towel? Uh, I left the clean towels on my cart. Did I? Do I have clean towels on my cart? Place towel. Pick up towel. Let's put those there we on go. the bathroom shelf. Nice. Uh, I left the clean towels on my car. How many do you need? It's one guy. There it is. Okay, so there's definitely a bug in this demo. Uh, I can't place the towel or the cup on this cart. Okay, I'll just hold that forever. Well, I've been wandering around for like 20 minutes. I really... I don't know what I'm looking for. Okay, so I've been looking at videos online for the past... 20 minutes trying to figure out how the hell other people have discovered what the code is. It has something to do with the clues, obviously. But can you choose your own code in these in these uh, hotel rooms? I mean, I guess if it's an apartment, you could choose your own code. But if it's the hotel's safe, that's... I don't know. I don't get it. But uh, let me go look at the... Uh... I think I can put together the code now. Uh, I just hit Q. Okay. I don't know it. I mean, I do, actually. I, I've memorized it from watching videos, but how do, you, how do you know it? What did you... Hold on. 34, 99, 57. 34, 99, 57. I don't know why the Q button is saying stuff. Now. I didn't know that. Let's try this okay, well, 34... No, hold on. 34, 34... 
57. It was a combination of 57 was like the year he actually 57 is like this year or something. 34, I think, was the address of his uh, girlfriend. I don't know. Okay. I don't know where the 99 came from. A lot of people have guns and safes. I don't... Okay. Thank you so much for trying our demo. If you enjoyed it, please wish list our game on and share your feedback in the TBWM demo. Oh, the, this bad we made. Channel on our Discord server. Okay. If I had known that she was going to make comments on what the code was, I would have done that a long time ago. It's like people in movies that figured out what the password was by saying, Oh, he loved his wife, uh, Emily. And they were married in 99, so Emily99 is the password to his computer. And they go, there it is. That was it. People don't make passwords like that. At least I don't. So she did the same thing here. She found a bunch of numbers, like, all over the place from all the papers, like, strewn out. Like, oh, there's 19 right there, 19 arrested. So 19 is probably a part of the passcode, right? She made a large jump to conclusions, and then it was correct. I mean, I'm glad she did, because without hitting Q and for her to start talking uh, in her dialogue-like, I would have never been able to figure out what the code was. Not a million years. Anyway, that was interesting. Uh, it comes out later. Uh, the demo's out now. Go check that out. I'll put a link in the description. If you guys like that video, please like and subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.